everyone, welcome to the Penguin Prof channel. This is a mini tutorial on homeostasis and negative feedback. So I'm going to use as an example um, heart rate, of course, as you can see. Really good question that you might ask yourself, or I might ask on a quiz, is what do you think would happen if you were to measure your heart rate every minute for 10 minutes? And this would be your heart rate when you were just sitting quietly doing nothing. So you can actually do this at home, get yourself a, a watch and uh, something to write with. Try and sit comfortably and try not to think of anything too exciting. And take your heart rate, measure it in beats per minute, every minute for 10 minutes. And most people would assume that their resting heart rate would be stable during those 10 minutes. And uh, let's say your resting heart rate, well the average resting heart rate, is about 60 beats per minute. So most people would expect that over those 10 minutes, your resting heart rate would be stable, let's say about 60 beats per minute. However, that's not what you're going to find. What you're actually going to see is that your heart rate is going to go up and down during the 10 minutes that you measure it. So it'll go up and down and up and down like this. And this is kind of surprising, and most people find it very strange, you know, why when you're sitting very quietly doing nothing, is your heart rate constantly changing? Well, that's actually homeostasis. So homeostasis is something that is dynamic, that is, it's always changing, but it's always changing around a set point value. And in this case, your set point, what, it's, what the variable is going around is 60 beats per minute. So that's your set point. That's homeostasis. It's always changing, but it's always revolving or going around a set point value. Now, how the body maintains this, how is it that this happens, that's negative feedback. Negative feedback means as a variable moves away from a set point value, negative feedback pushes the variable back towards the set point value. So in other words, if your heart rate gets too high, so somewhere around here, let's say, as you go across, there's some value where if your heart rate approaches this value, there are going to be uh, mechanisms, primarily the parasympathetic division of your autonomic nervous system, that will push the heart rate back down towards the set point value. On the other hand, if your heart rate gets too low, say down here, right, these are straight lines, supposedly, um, the sympathetic division will push your heart rate back up. So over time, what you see is the heart rate going up and down and up and down around your set point value. So in reality, your heart rate is very rarely 60 beats per minute. About half the time, it's more than that, slightly more than that, and half the time, it's slightly less than that. And most variables in the body, with very few exceptions, uh, are regulated this way. So this is a stabilizing mechanism. Negative feedback stabilizes things like heart rate, your body temperature, your blood pressure, most things that you can think of. Positive feedback mechanisms, on the other hand, are destabilizing, and they actually take a variable and they will push it farther and farther away from the set point. And you might wonder what kinds of body variables would need to be destabilized. Boy, that's another great quiz question, right? Hope this was helpful. Thanks for visiting. Visit us on the Facebook page and follow on Twitter.